Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rabarona here again, and this is a combo guide for Rui. Now, a lot of people are saying that Rui is a low damage character, but let's show them that they're wrong. So, a basic combo that I think is really useful with Rui, it's a balance of consistency and high damage, is a simple combo like this. It does nearly 4,000 damage for only 2 bars, which is really good for a character that's a little low on the damage scale. Um, yes, it's against Hinokami Tanjiro, but it do allow 3,700 on normal characters, so that's really good for only 2 bars. And it ends in his web tosses, which blows the opponent away, so it gives him time to run away and throw more projectiles and, you know, make some space in between him and the opponent. So I'll just show that one more time. You do 4 hits, or 5 hits, but, you know, 4 slashes, few hits, cancel, regular attack in the air, dive kick in the air, 4 attack string, into your web toss projectiles, and then the opponent gets launched away, and then you can do whatever you want after that. You get your good damage, you get your stuff. If you do want to make the combo a little bit shorter to combo to it, to it, to it combo it into an ultimate, you can um, remove some of the attacks, like the tilt attack, the, one of the attacks in the air. Oops. Oops. And then boom, ultimate. And that'll be some pretty decent damage. But yeah, just keep in mind you have to shorten it a little bit if you want to get an ultimate off of it. So that's a bread and butter combo I recommend you do most of the time with Rui. It's very consistent, very good damage, basically the highest damage he's going to get with two bars or even one bar if you shorten it and just do something like this. Single bar for 3300 damage and a hard knockdown so we can run away and throw projectiles, that's really really powerful. Now you can change this combo to make it a little bit easy by either doing his up combo You can do basically the same thing, or you can also do it off of using his, um, what is it, his bird cage, what does he call it? Red barrier. You can get a similar combo using those, but you'll just get a little less damage. Um, now if you're getting a combo off of a red attack, you can do a combo like this, that does really good damage and is a reset. So after that reset, you can go for a grab, and it's actually very consistent. Um, against people that try to sidestep backwards, um, or even sometimes if they sidestep late sideways, it'll still catch them. It's a very, very powerful reset tool. And obviously, if you go for the strike portion of the strike throw, you're going to get a lot of damage. Oops, unless you screw up the combo like it did just there. But it's going to do around 80% damage, just like most resets. The same thing applies for his aerial tilt attack, except you do have to end it a little bit early, because it takes a little bit more time when they fall out of the combo otherwise. And do whatever you like. If you doing a combo off of your projectile. So if you hit confirm your projectiles, you know, you're like, oh, that hit the opponent. Oh, okay, I can cancel it into my sidekick special move, whatever you call those. So, oh, that hit the opponent, cancel that into that, that's a combo. I can dash in and get a full combo off of that. I can change a little bit to make it do... kind of this combo, and you get a hard knockdown off of that, so you can build back a bunch of bar, but basically you're going to get around 3,000, 3,200 damage off of any of these, but you know, you can vary whatever you want to do. Just make sure, you know, you're hit confirming the first throw of your web toss all the time, like, oh, okay, that hit, cool, I get a combo from full screen. And do whatever you like, go for a reset, la da 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 he's a very reset heavy and zoning heavy character. <laughs> Now, uh, wait, is that, yeah, we did all of his base BNG combos, oh yeah, no, something else to mention is that because his reset's really good, and as I showed the reset off of the arm attack, you can also do a reset off of his base combo, so if you do something like this, oopsie whoops. and throw one projectile, you get over 3000 damage, and then you get to go for the reset, so if the opponent does fall, and if they get hit by your attacks after that, 
then they kind of are gonna die. Now, the way Rui gets most of his damage is actually from landing a single roll projectile. So if you're wandering around, you know, you, you want the easiest hit confirmed projectile in the game, like, oh, oh, those have definitely hit, let me go for an ultimate. This is actually basically the highest damage he can get, which is kind of ridiculous. So if you keep in mind, whenever you have an ultimate and you land a projectile, you can cancel into an ultimate and completely melt your opponent. It's so ridiculous. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Save your ultimate gauge, because if you land a random projectile, you can get the easiest hit confirm in the world <laughs> into an ultimate. I think that'll do the uh, 70, 69 damage, but yeah, kind of ridiculous. Now he does have other combo rounds where if you want to do something like this, you can go into a tilt attack and stuff like that, but I don't recommend using that like in your combos, because it it's your sidekick gauge, and you really only, only want to use um, his sidekick specials, either his um, you know, his screen control one to like do this massive thing. But I don't think you really want to spend this one in combos because it doesn't do too much extra damage in doing a normal combo that we showed before. In fact, it does less. But it is really useful for when you do want to hit confirm your projectiles for screen because you know normally you don't really get too much from them. But if you use this, then you're getting a lot from them. Oops, unless you cancel your ultimate late. But uh. Yeah, I think that's about all there is to say with Rui combo-wise. Like, if you are wanting to be ridiculous, you can get combos like this full screen. You get, like, nearly 4,000 damage. If you want to really stay away from the opponent and just spend everything and make them super annoyed, you can do that, but obviously, don't really recommend it. Um, if you are just wanting to stay do a full screen combo and you do want to, like, you know, stay far away, you can do something like this. But I still don't see why you would want to do that, because anytime you land this special move, you get an opportunity to run in and get a full combo on the opponent. Get some pretty decent damage, depending on what you do. Uh, and, but you know, obviously, any combo you do, you can just cancel into a few of these, and you're gonna get decent chunks of damage, basic, I mean, not decent chunks of damage, very indecent chunks of damage, so I don't recommend you spend me to doing this. Because I don't think that's how Rui is meant to be played. His projectiles aren't really used for getting damage, they're more used for getting a good situation. And another good example of that is, we'll quickly talk about his pressure, is if I throw a projectile from full screen and just do my single throw, I can chase after it, and depending on how far away I am, this can actually um, combo. So if I'm really far away from the opponent, maybe I've done a combo and launched him away, and I throw a web, this can actually combo. But even if it doesn't combo, they have to block that web, and at least there's some pretty, you know, good, like, pressure mix-ups from full screen. So if I have the opponent guard, if I throw my web and run behind it, they're thinking they have to block me running in. But nope, I go for a grab, and then it just leads to my awesome pressure. And he does have really good pressure, because his normals reach ridiculously, I can reach the distance of a pushback, so they have to push me back twice in order to get out of my combos, which is really, really scary. The opponent has to, like, launch me, like... <laughs> all the way over here in order to get out of my combo, so very scary stuff. Even over here, I can nearly hit my opponent with my like dash in button, it's so good. So his pressure is really good, and his web toss is plus on block. So he just has awesome pressure like this, and you can really, really melt the opponent's guard. And go in for whatever combos you like. Blah -da -da -doo. But yeah, he's got very good pressure. He can pressure with his projectiles full screen. And then use the full screen presence to dash in on his opponent and really melt their gauge. And I could have cancelled into the ultimate there and kind of killed him. But uh, yeah, that's basically Rui. He has... He, da he does have damage, and he can get combos off of a lot of things, and he's a pretty decent combo character, and it's cool that he can combo off of things full screen. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Anyways, that's about it for Rui Combos. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.